Greetings, everyone, and isn't this just a fantastic view we have here? I am the Beard, and we are back for another episode of Ostrof and developing our absolutely amazingly beautiful town here. I'm really excited to be back. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, we've got a lot of planning to do, I think, and um, perhaps some building placement. Um, at the moment, uh, we have, I think, a single smeltery being constructed. We're after a church because we're population limited at the moment, but at the same time, we need cows and we need horses. We've already got horses. We'll go check on them just now. Uh, we need cows um, to get some plows into our field as well, um, but most of all, we need carts to help us start moving things around. So I'm going to kill the camera now so you can uh, stop looking at my face and uh, let's get stuck into uh, what's going on here. Right, so these are our first three horses uh, right over here. So we've got uh, two females and a male. Um, we're going to breed them um, for the moment. Um, so we could turn them into draft horses, um, but I'd like them to be here uh, for the moment being just bred, uh, if that makes sense. I also think that what we really need to do is we need to build a haystack here for them. Now... I've kind of made this into a bit of a, an area. Uh, they do eat hay, correct? Have we got hay? Hay, yes, hay. Let's build a haystack here for them. We're gonna build a big haystack. Um, two haystacks, in fact. We've got a small one and a large one. I think this, it opens out that way, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, another thing that we figured out, and this was a question in the comments. If you go to the info overlays here, you can go down to the bottom one here, always show occupied space, and if you do that, then, and I'll show you the difference now, where was our haystack? Now, when I click on the haystack, the occupied space for all the other buildings always shows. Uh, if I untick that, and let's go back to our haystack, uh, it doesn't show unless I mouse over the buildings. Now, I actually find, it's really interesting, I actually thought I'd like them off, but I actually like them on. It makes it a lot easier to see where you're placing things, uh, where your limitations are. And for the type of building that we do around these parts, um, that's super important. So let's uh, just adjust this slightly. I want to get the haystack uh, fairly close to the building here. Uh, we're going to fill it with hay. Uh, we're going to do one like that. And we're actually going to get the other one, which is the small haystack. Uh, where is it? The hay barrack. The hay barrack. That's the one. Uh, and we're going to build, I think, two hay barracks out the back here. Uh, let's do one and two, right? Uh, like that. And then I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get some hay, um, some actual grass going over here. So let's go to production. I don't always don't like how big they are. Uh, where are they again? Hay dryer. This takes up so much space. But we're gonna get we're gonna get a little bit of hay out the back here, I think, um, to where our horse paddocks are. We're gonna get a paddock out here and a farm, I think, as well. Um, so let's do. Uh, I'm thinking maybe because uh, we can get some trees there. Uh, let's do one there. Ooh, didn't press shift. Uh, ooh, but we can clone us. Um, let's just do. I want to do two hay barracks, like, yes, let's get, or two hay dryers, we'll just get those there, um, just so we can start getting some hay in for those people there. Now let's go have a look at the smeltery. The smeltery is on the way, it's, it's way up. I actually do want to move the hay barracks and everything up to the front of the queue, because the smeltery isn't the most important thing at the moment. It is important, but it's not the most important thing. Um, the next thing that I wanted to do was actually get a farm in here. Now, this is all going to be farmland out back here, and this is going to be a little bit of a worker's area. So uh, let's uh, let's let's get this in from a farmland perspective. Now, I wanted to try get some trees along here, but also get this in properly. So let's um, let's do this like. I'm thinking maybe what we do is we put the entrance to the farm actually over there like that. Um, let's get a... We're getting, we're getting, we're getting fancy now. We're going to get fancy now. We're going to put this one uh, in here like this. 
Uh, do, do, do. Let's get a... Yes. Yes, like that. An entrance way through to there. Now we're going to go for our farm. Uh, farm. And we're going to do the farm like... Uh, like that, I think. Yes. And then once that's built, uh, we will... Um, we will throw in a little bit of fencing in here. We'll get some trees going. Uh, in fact, I do want to get one Collingwood in there. That was exactly the spot that I wanted to get it in. Uh, and then we do need to, and we can already fence this off here. Um, let's run a little fence uh, across to there. Yes. So we just uh, block off the... This is the saddlery over here. They're making some saddles for us, and this is uh, obviously storing horseshoes and and saddles and horse tack and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, once they get going, that is. Once they get going. Um, so this is going to be a... Uh, we're going to draw a line down here as well. This is going to be a bit of an open area. We might plant some trees in here just to sort of keep it looking good let's put a birch maybe uh there um and then uh maybe let's put a cherry tree i like the idea of a cherry tree there and another collingwood up there and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple of dog rose bushes in just to beef it out um and then we're going to fence this little bit of a fencing in here uh like this. Right. All to make it look pretty. And then we can put some benches on the side of the of the of the fence. Uh I know a lot of you do like watching the uh decoration aspect of, of, of the way I kind of pay attention to all that kind of thing. That's what we're doing here. We're we're, we're gonna build be building a beautiful town as well. Now you are struggling with food quality. Um, but there is a lot of food here for you to buy. So what's the problem? Have you got no money? You've got a lot of money. Just go and buy some food. Uh, we are continuing to clear a lot of the trees here. Um, slowly but surely, there is a church earmarked of, uh, right over there. And this is going to be a big square uh, over here. So we've got to really plan that one out. Um, I would really like these ones here to be removed fairly soon. Um, because we're gonna need to plan a, a grand, a grand entranceway in there. Let's uh, keep the speed of the game up a bit, so we don't have to wait forever for things to happen. So, these horses will breed, hopefully. Um, we might buy some more horses as well. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, wait, overlays. Uh, we might buy some horses as well. Some more horses. Um, might even buy some draft horses just to keep things going. I'm just checking on here. We grew, we planted some trees in here. They haven't grown quite yet. Um, uh, it's going to look very good when that when that's grown. Keep getting distracted. So we do need to think about uh, furthering our food uh, food sources, etc., etc. Uh, and thinking about uh, creating a bit of a market area around here. Um, and making sort of another little clump of uh, farmers' houses. So maybe let's plan that. Um, so in order to plan that, let's uh, put a well in. We're going to need it. We've got. A, oh, we've already got a well there, but we might need a second well. Uh, a well for maybe. I'm thinking this well. A well in here, and that's just. We can make this just a pure industry well. Um, that could be quite good. Uh, looks like we've got a trader. Can we buy some horses from you? Are you gonna need draft horses? No, you don't. I don't don't really want to sell you anything. We can sell you three thousand. Let's sell some charcoal, shall we? And keep the money rolling into the coffers. Buckwheat, we've got none to sell you. Uh, we could sell you for some sunflower oil. How about five hundred sunflower oil? Uh, raspberries, we might have a few, but not enough. Uh, chicken eggs. That's the other thing we need to do, chickens. But first, we need a lot more buckwheat and those kind of things, uh, to be honest. Okay, so uh, housing. What we're going to do is we're going to do village houses. We're going to do them along here, right? We're going to do a couple of village houses along here. Facing the, 
the fields uh, to create a nice straight line. Now, I think it's probably the roughest over here. So let's alt. Um, so we don't snap. Um, I kind of want to make a thin as thin a line as possible there. So that looks like the sort of proper maximum. Uh, let's F1 that in there. Uh, yep. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to make these very thin plots, I think. Uh, very, very thin plots. Um, like... Like that. So, small, thin garden plots. Uh, there you go. I wonder if this, if I do this... No, not quite. Not quite. I was hoping that it would uh, keep the size of it in. But not quite. Okay, so we're gonna, just going to place a few more down here. Um, copy. Uh, get, get, get a couple of farmers' houses, I suppose, with little, little, their own little village, their own gardens along here. Um, there you go. Happy with that. Uh, this is just so we can have people living nearby um, for to stock the, the, the farms, or, or staff the farms, rather. Because we are going to have a few farm buildings up here now. Uh, we're going to maybe set up another two or three farms, I think. Um, two or three farms in order to keep, keep the, uh, the food flowing. Uh, right, so let's... There... Um, so we want some with village plots, like garden plots like this. Um, and then we're going to do some other normal little, uh, around here. We'll clump up some of the, the, um, the village houses, if that makes sense. What is this? The house should be in the fenced area. I thought it was. There you go. Uh, and last one, I think. Uh, last one. Uh, maybe you'll have a slightly bigger garden. So we got a nice row of houses there. A good six, it seems. Uh, we've got that farm going in there. And then I think we'll do another farm maybe uh, out on this side over here. Uh, so farm. And we'll spin him around. And we'll do him like this. Uh, we'll give leave some space to plant some trees along the back there. But... Uh, Farm will go in, in there. Yes, okay. Um, and then we'll do some village houses uh, in here, I think. Um, we'll kind of make little, little, uh, little rows, I think. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, uh, four. Uh, and we'll do a more along here. Uh, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Awesome. So uh, that that should provide a substantial amount of housing out on this side of the world for our for our farms, and we'll put another another market out here as well. Um, because this is all going to be farmland over here. Um, all going to be farmland. And now we've got a really big production queue going. Um, a really, really big production queue going. And we're going to need to unpause that church. So, that church is super, super, super important, in fact. So, once this farm is up, um, in fact, let's move the, um, I'm going to do two farms. And then we'll do the well and then the second farm. Uh, let's speed it up, shall we? Uh, we'll do those like that, and then once that church is up, we can start stocking this, and then hopefully these horses here will have bread, um, and that, that'll be good news for us all. Right, we've got these hay barracks up here. Um, I want to buy carter and buy wagon, um, and I want to do the same thing here. Uh, apply to all. Hire men and women, yes, hay barracks. Okay, good. I'm hoping that this will fill with hay over time. Um, and that'll... Cause we've got a lot of hay out here. Um, 
which is going for uh, many the sheep. Many the sheep. Have you got uh, horses for us? Maybe we can buy a draft horse. Oh, they're expensive. Um, maybe we should buy a couple more female horses, shall we? Let's buy. If we buy four more female horses, uh, like that, that's uh, some 240. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Oh, wait, let's buy two more. So we've got four female horses. That sounds good. Um, we don't have... We might have some flour. We could do 500 flour, and maybe that'll make us back the money, almost, that we have sold you, paid for horses for. Honey, sunflower oil. I can do 700. 700? Yeah, okay, cool. We've made our money back from the... Uh, uh, I could do 500... 500 dried fish. Okay, we've made our money back from buying those horses at the very least. We've actually made profit, which is good. You guys are struggling here with food. Uh, is this uh, is this place... Take from other granaries. Uh, yes. Please take from other granaries. Um, let's keep this place here full, please. Uh, buy from local places. We've got to keep these stocked, I think. Um, mutton... Yeah, they sell a lot. They actually sell quite a lot. So, so yeah, we gotta we gotta make sure that our food supplies are good. Okay, cool. Uh, we are now working. They are now working on the church. So while they're working on the church, and we're gonna go check in on the construction of the church just now, we're gonna add a couple of fields. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna slow this down while we add fields because I really do want to go and have a look at that church being built. Uh, first field uh, is gonna be here. Uh, an open out area. We're going to put some storage, more storage yards here, I think. Maybe even a couple of village houses in here. Uh, so let's go to 25 units. 25 units. And let's go to another 25. 25 seems to be the optimum size, really, for for, for perfect fields. Um, 25 by 25, 25. That's a square. That is a square. Um, okay. Uh, field, yes, okay, it's not activated, yes, I know. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, okay, add a field. Um, next one will go, um, we're gonna do fields along here because that's a farm, right? Uh, so these fields should go over here. So this is gonna go here. Uh, 25, 25, and that's. 25 by 25 by 25. Yes, another square. Um, let's add another field. I want to do this field over here. Um, let's do 25. Um, where's the 25? There it is. And there it is. Okay, so that's those three fields there. Uh, let's do another one in here. Uh, 25 like that uh, and another field in um, I want to do you can do how many fields can you do per farm again uh, I have forgotten um, you can do six fields per farm actually you know you can do more um, but six is kind of optimum uh, that one's only got one, two, three, four. This one's only got four. So let's do five and six over here, shall we? Let's see if I can get this right. Uh, 24, 25, 25, 25 there. It's not exactly, but close enough. Uh, 25. And that's 25. Yes. Okay. And we'll do one more field in here. Nice squares. Six nice squares. Over there in those fields. Um, okay, let's uh, let's let's start looking at these fields here now and what we can do from a sort of farming perspective. So we're gonna prioritize gathering. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do let's do the good old we're gonna keep this a potato. Uh we, we gotta hire a manager. Let's hire a manager quickly so we can do uh, crop rotation quickly. Um, maybe start these. So this is going to be a buckwheat. Uh, this one will stay fallow. 
Um, we'll start with that on a wheat, uh, and that will do a fallow and a fallow. So we've got three, four going and three on, on pause to start with. Um, let's activate them. Uh, activate, activate, and activate. Uh, so those will go. Um, let's, where's the other farms? Uh, let's apply to all. So at least this one here has got uh, people coming to maybe high for it. We may, might might have to come back to these fields because we are waiting for more, more people to come into town. So let's speed it up and have a look at what's going on over here. So this is our church, everyone. The, the all-important building. Uh, it looks like what we're doing at the moment is we're waiting for a heck of a lot of wood and nails. Um, but we've got a lot of wood lying around. We're not short on wood, so that's good. So while they're collecting the wood and bring it in, we're going to go over here and we're going to just check that a lot of these trees are earmarked for removal, because they should be. Uh, we're going to do a lot of forestry around here. Um, remove. Uh, this is all going down for, um, not only for construction, because uh, we, we're going to use all of this wood to construct this major city over here, but it's also to help uh, clear space so that we can see what we want to be, um, want to be building, basically. Um, remove, remove, remove. It's a, I, I, what I would, uh, what I would really love uh, and maybe this will come later. It's kind of one of those quality of life things. Uh, I would love a, um, a full remove tool, uh, like a tree remove all of the hay foresters and just sort of like select remove a whole bunch of trees that, that would be great. Cause then I would have, wouldn't have to do basically what I'm doing now, which is individually clicking on trees in order to remove them. Um, I mean, they'll come and do it themselves uh, over time, but if you want to kind of direct them to a specific area, you do need to do this, basically. Um, all right, the church is going up, everyone. Um, we have the first first set of stone foundations going in. Fantastic. Um, we haven't built a church yet, so we're going to pause here and watch, watch them build. Uh, are you still missing nails? They're missing nails. Right, okay. You know what we're gonna do? We are, we've got cash. So let's send out some money. Oh, uh, do you have nails that you can sell us? Nails, yes. Um, we're gonna buy a thousand nails. Buy a thousand nails. Uh, thank you. Buy a thousand nails, cause we gonna need those nails over here. Otherwise work is gonna be stalled. Uh, stalled on the church. Oh. Another one around. Salt, iron, or me dried fish. Right, we can't do that any for you. We can do a thousand. A thousand sunflower oil, though. Flour? No. Um, I'm raspberries, we're not really making enough of any of this right now. We're really short on nails. But they are putting up scaffolding. Scaffolding is going up around the church. Look at this. This is the, this is the churchyard. This is going to be... We're going to make a big market here and it's gonna have trees and gazebos and uh yeah all kinds of stuff um maybe maybe there'll be a couple more houses uh along the edge here in fact let's let's do, get to the decoration tab i want to get a big arch um a big arch big arches the big this is going to be the sort of main main entrance way into the uh into the courtyard area here i think um i do want to get some village houses as well in here too so kind of wanted to get a village house like this because i really want to make it a bit of a real courtyard um so like that then this one i wanted to flip like this yeah like that we're gonna make it a bit of a courtyard yeah we might even get a, 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 um, we might even get a, a, a pub in here somewhere. Um, this is going to be flipping grand over here. This is going to be amazing. Uh, this here is all going to be our, our little market, market area. 
Uh, you know what we need? We need stone roads. I don't know if stone roads were a thing at this point in uh, Ukrainian history, but we do need stone roads. Looks like we've had all of our nails delivered. So that means that they're gonna, gonna put this up quickly now. Uh, up goes the scaffolding. It's a lot of scaffolding to get this church up. It's a lot of wood, this church, really. Um, it's all wood, actually. Let's have a look what's left here. Uh, there's no more stonework left. It's all wood and nails. Uh, all wood and nails uh, to get that finished. Uh, which is, you know, it's, fa it's a lot of work. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to put some of these village houses up in the queue here. Uh, I want I want them to get built, which are those guys, so we can start fleshing out this area over here. Uh, do we have any? Did we buy those more horses? Have we got more horses in here? How many How many horses do we have? We've got. Oh, what did we buy? Oh, we bred a horse. We got a, a two-month-old horse, which is amazing. Um, that's brilliant, and we are well over three. We just keep pe people keep having children in this town. Um, Alright, so let's make this here. Prepare this horse to be used as a draft animal. Uh, and this one too. Yes. Need four horse tack, uh, four shoes and one tack. Okay. So really, it's all about this. Uh, not enough metal parts. Okay. <laughs> Do we need to buy more, more metal parts? Iron. Let's buy 2,000 iron, shall we? Um, and just get iron in. Uh, we might actually have to go and have a look at our... Are you just not making metal parts? Um, okay, we're really short on uh, on hands on deck here. So this church is really important. It's really, really important this church gets built. So that we can start... We've got so many vacancies here. 25 vacancies. Um, and there's enough housing available. And there's all kinds of things. Um... But uh, there is not enough churches. But we're almost there. Look at this church. We got the the the, the spire is up. Um, the spire is up. They're doing. Where, where are they working? What are they? What are they doing on the last things? Is, uh, where they work? This is an imposing building, isn't it? I really like it. Um, we have to build one one more than one of those around these parts, I think. Um, although I don't know what the I don't know what the, the, the limit on stone actually is that you can gather. Because um, I, I, as far as I can see, you can't buy stone from anywhere. Uh, we only have 9,261 stone in stock. Uh, so we have to be really careful about the amount of stone that we use and stone buildings. Yes, we have a church. Uh, do we get a priest? I don't know. But that has given our religious needs satisfied, which means that immigration status is up. Um, oh wow, there's a lot of people coming to church. Look at that. They're flocking to church. Everyone is running to church. Everyone has got wanted to go to church and is now, let's go to church. Okay, so that is the church, everyone. The first church looking out over the over town. Fantastic. Uh, that is now getting built. Okay, do we have a manager? Do we have a manager? We have a manager here and we have active employees. So let's slow things down. And let's uh, do the buckwheat, buckwheat potato shuffle. Because um, we do buckwheat and then we do potato. Am I right? The potato and then the buckwheat and then the potato. That's 50%, 30%, 20%. That is the shuffle, right? Uh, let me go back and look at the other farms quickly. Um, we've got a lot of hustles here. Uh, flax, buckwheat. Uh, right, wait, right, 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 let's do this quickly. So we're gonna do potato, buckwheat, and then, uh, buckwheat is 20%, and this is 30%, so that's 60, yeah, 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 and then that's, uh, only 60%, so we can do 50%, and there's no, yes, so we can do a potato, buckwheat, potato shuffle, and then a fallow, and then we will do a... Um, we will do a, ooh, doo, doo, doo. we'll do a, a, oh, let's do a hemp, and then, uh, is this 69%, and that's 30%, uh, yeah, let's do a hemp, and, uh, we're gonna do a sunflower, a sunflower, what's good to follow after a sunflower, a fallow, uh, yeah, because we're gonna need that there, so this will be potato, 
and then fallow. And then we will do a sunflower fallow, and then we will do a potato over here. That will be, let's do a buckwheat, no, a potato, buckwheat, potato. That's a good food yield. And then we'll do a sunflower there. This is all going to be, this is all going to be buckwheat uh, potato combos. So that'll be a fallow. Uh, we'll do a sunflower there, a fallow, and then we'll do another potato and a buckwheat so this is basically a buckwheat potato and sunflower farm, this one over here. Uh, let's do the sunflower there, and then a fallow, and then we'll do potato, buckwheat, potato. Uh, and then this one we will do potato, buckwheat, potato, fallow, sunflower. That's a good mix. The fields, uh, right, let's, that's it, good, awesome, okay, uh, let's look at the supply, cart by carter, water applied to all, haha, -ha. um, okay, so we've got supplies going to all of our farms, uh, that's, is that to, apply to only, are there only four farm buildings, I thought there were more, um, alright, but this is now we've shot up, uh, in, um, we shot up in population, so now really what the important thing to do is actually to get uh, a lot of these houses built actually um, because that's where it's going to be all at. So let's uh, shuffle all the houses up there. Um, I think that well that was constructed was this one over here. Let's take this for just production. Uh, cool. Um, right over here. Um, let's get another well in here. That's what this is for over here. This little little gap. Uh, this is going to be well for the farm. Water for the farm. Uh, we'll put that in there. And we'll skimmy that up, up the list. Um, so that'll start producing things over there. Um, we need desperately and more metal parts. So that means that I think we're going to need another, uh, another, we're going to need another, basically another, another metal smith. What's it called? Uh, another smithy very, very soon. So this is definitely going to be the production end of town. I kind of want to put the smithy over here, um, along the water. Um, let's do it like that. Um, and we're going to put a, a jetty out there for uh, for a, a collection of water for the the production uh, production buildings over here. Um, let's put that smithy up there um, in the production queue. This is going to be very important because we need a lot more metal parts coming out of this area or side of town. Uh, these houses are being built over here. Fantastic. Uh, these are going to be some nice little village houses um, and attract a couple more people here. We've got 26 open vacancies in town at the moment, um, or a lot more than that, actually 80. 25 for men, 86 for women. Um, so there is a lot of employment available in this town. So as soon as we get those houses up, people should move in um, and take those jobs uh, fairly, fairly quickly. Um, it is awesome to see that the resources are coming through um, so fast for these buildings. Uh, we're really good at building these little village houses now. Um, this is going to look really great over here. I'm really, really happy about it. How are we doing on the money? Okay, let's do some trading. Um, let's give you some charcoal, shall we? Uh, 4,000 charcoal. Um, I've got to keep the money coming in. Um... We might have to look at uh, upping our oil production as well. We have spent a lot of time expanding um, and very little time paying attention to things like balancing out our resources. So we're going to start making a list. We got, we got, uh, okay, let's actually start talking about this while we watch this house being built. We've got, and I'm making notes here. I am making notes. We've got to get our charcoal production up. Charcoal. Uh, we've got to get uh, our sort of iron uh, iron tools, our nails, and all that kind of thing going as well. In fact, 
that's what we need to do over here, don't we? This is kind of where we need to set up more charcoal pits uh, around here. Let's let's end off the episode by doing that. Charcoal. This is our smeltery. This is going to be a really production-centered and heavy area over here. Um, I kind of want to do this. Uh, put them uh, like that. Oh, um, can I? Can I? Oh, it's uneven terrain. Uh, maybe we can. Can I get one in here like this? Yeah, let's get one in, in, in there. Let's get two, two charcoal. I'm gonna get two charcoal pits over there to stuff this that's going on, that production industry that's going on there. Uh, we've got a stone mining camp up here, so we can start getting more stone. There's limestone here as well, and this is our lime works, um, but we're not gonna staff them yet. Uh, we are, however, going to admire and wonder at our beautiful church that we have built. Um, and I think that's probably where we're going to end this episode, actually. We've, we've, we've drawn it out a bit, but we've got a lot of them we've done. As I, as I promised, we've done a lot of planning. Um, our trees are still one year away, I think, from producing fruit. But when we do that, hopefully we'll make some money off that. Um, we are down to 46 jobs in the village, which is good. Um, we are slowly eating away at our employment. We've got people working all over the place. Uh, we've got a new farm coming out here. We did a lot in this episode. Um, and hopefully we're going to have... How much do you need? You need... Uh, what do you need here? You need four horseshoes. So we're short on the horseshoes. Um, but who makes the horseshoes? Uh, we're going to make horseshoes in the actual smithy, which is why that smithy is important to get up. So... Next smithy will go up, we'll start making that. That smithy, I think, will make horseshoes almost exclusively. Um, and we shall continue, but what, oh, what a beautiful town. Uh, right, I'm, I'm coming back to say goodbye. Uh, I do like saying goodbye to you all. If there are any tips and recommendations, if any of you have been playing Ostrof excessively in the background, um, things that I should be focusing on first, please let me know in the comments. I'd be exceptionally... Uh, willing to take your advice but if you just enjoyed it hit that like button I'd like that too and I will see you all in the next episode until then I am the beard keep yourself safe signing out